Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the readings for the month of December and I'm going to be reading from my lovely Pisces. Now before I start, I did mention on a little VT I did about a month ago that I would be creating some encaustic um, tarot card to read from to incorporate in this reading. So I'm a lovely Pisces, I'm just going to create this now for you and I'm drawn to blue because obviously you're a water sign. So I'm just going to get this iron and apply some blue to start with as a base for you Pisces. So I'm just going to get this covered to start with for you. So yeah, we want some lovely messages for Pisces for the month of December. So I'm just going to get some colour on here. I'm just going to apply a bit more blue on for you Pisces, being as you're a lovely water sign. So yeah, I just want to get some colour on there. That's lovely. I'm just going to wipe this off, okay? And then we'll continue to build up the tarot card, your individual tarot card for this month, Pisces. So I feel like I want to put some red on for you. We'll have some yellow. Um, I love this magenta. absolutely love this colour. So we'll have some of that on. We'll have a little bit of teal green for you as well. And I'm going to put a little bit of white in as well at the bottom around the sides okay so if we can have some lovely messages please for our lovely Pisces for the month of December okay spirit messages for our lovely Pisces wow and I'm absolutely I'm loving that Pisces so I'm gonna let that dry and we'll come back and we'll incorporate that tarot card that I've created for you here and get some further messages um, at the end, okay? So my lovelies, welcome back. The cards have now dried, okay? And uh, this is gonna be the monthly read for my lovely Pisces, okay, Pisces? If you are new to my channel, then I, Monthly reads I do, I premeditate on the cards, which allows me then to do my little bit of added poetry that I always write on one of these cards at the end. Um, the cards that I'll be using, I'll just drop them in the description box below because I use quite a different uh, collection of different decks in my monthly reads. So without further ado then, Pisces, I'm just going to get straight into, uh, let's have a look of what's coming into the month of December. I'm going to move this out of the way and we'll come back to that at the end with my poetry. So, my lovely Pisces, the card that came out for you at December was uh, Barriers, okay? The card of Barriers, lovely card that is. And then we had Encouragement and Flying. Now, if you are new to my channel, what I tend to do is a collective general read for the whole sign, and then I will recap and try and put uh, a spin on it for the romantic element of the read, okay? But I'm going to start off with the collective to start with. So then, Pisces, going into December, my lovelies, it's about um, taking stock, really, and looking at the barriers that you've actually created for yourself in the last couple of months coming into December okay I do feel that there's been some Pisces out there like I say who have sort of uh, guarded themselves a little bit um, sort of withdrawn themselves from their social scenes as well where I just feel that um, you've really taken yourself out the mainframe the last couple of months, Pisces. You've been out of sorts in yourself. Excuse me. And this is why the uh, the self-defence, the, the drawbridges come up, the barriers have been put up on yourself, okay? Because I feel there's been some vulnerabilities around Pisces in the last uh, month previously. There's some issues, there's some uh, things gone on that have made you um, feel quite vulnerable, okay? 
Now this could be things that have happened in um, your work uh, areas, it could be uh, in your family environment, where things have happened really, where you haven't been happy with an outcome or you haven't been happy about somebody's behaviour towards you. And as I said, whatever situation this is, it's just made you think, you know, um, no, I'm going to protect myself here. And I do feel as well, because there's a house in this card, some of you out there, Pisces, could have had your property being targeted at. You could have had uh, incidents with um, neighbours, okay? You could have had, it could have been a really hostile time in your neighbourhood um, where you felt you've been targeted. Um, and you've had to protect your home. You've had to put um, an alarm system in. You've had to rethink on, on that side of things. I'm just trying to give you scenarios, guys, on a general collective where I feel barriers would have been put up by Pisces. Um, and so having the house in there, I just feel property needed to be guarded as well. Um, security in issues needed to be guarded as well. So yeah, that, that's one side of the, the coin as a general, why the barriers have been put up. But it's saying here, as we go into December, it's about worry as well, okay? But no, going into December, um, have the encouragement, okay? Because the encouragement card here is just saying that you haven't got to be so hard on yourself now, Pisces. You've, you've, you've addressed where the issues were, okay? You've addressed where you needed to put the barriers, you needed to know where the protection needed to lie, um, whether that's actually physically cutting people out of your life and actually saying, you know, I'm shutting the door on you because that's a barrier. And if you shut the door on somebody, not allowing them to come in. And it's saying as you go into December, you are going to feel uh, more satisfied, more relaxed, okay? And with the flying card here, because it's as though you have felt trapped with the maze. It's felt, I feel like some of my Pisces have I felt like they've actually been going round in a maze, round in a maze. I'm thinking, how the hell am I going to get out of this situation? And as I said, I'm picking up the energies, guys, previously to December here of what you've been dealing with. Now, this could have been um, you felt stuck in a job that you wasn't happy with, okay? And you felt hemmed in, basically. And you were thinking, I'm lost in this maze here. I'm lost. I'm totally lost with my the direction my life is going in, okay? And you've been walking around in circles and circles. You're not sure of what career you should be taking. Um, you could be, have been dealing with health issues, okay? Uh, where you have had to put barriers. Well, barriers have been put on you, basically, guys, if it's health reasons, that, you know, you've been restricted, okay? But no, my lovelies, wherever this issue has been, okay, you can breathe. Now, going into December, my lovelies, you can actually, the worry is going to um, just disperse that anxiety that, you know, um, just feel like walking on eggshells as well. Some of you have been, you know, especially with the disputes and, and things that have been going on um, with neighbours or in your area or damage to property or I'm just getting this kind of scenario with a collective. But no, my lovelies, that is, um, you're going to be coming, flying literally out of that vibe, there to that negative um, vibration where this protective overkill, but it isn't an overkill because that's what you've had to do to get your peace of mind back, Pisces, okay? It's not going to resonate with everybody, but this is the, the feeling I'm getting. So then we've got the meditation, okay, coming out with denial card, okay? Now, this here uh, on the collective side, as I said, some of you have put barriers up on the social elements of being, you know, you haven't felt like you wanted to go out. You've just wanted to get home at night after work, shut the door and think, no, that's enough for me. OK, and it's like self-denial then. You've self-denied you wanting to do nice things, you know, fun things. OK, um, but with the meditation card here coming into December, it's just about, uh, it's reaching out to yourself, to your inner soul, okay? Getting that uh, calm, um, calmness, I want to say calmness, 
okay? Because it has been an anxious uh, time for the, some of my general collectives here. It's been a, just like I said, what people have been dealing with, it's been, it's been chaos. I want to say chaos now. Literally, some of my policies there have had chaotic things to sort out. And it's saying December, just know that you can actually reach out okay but reach out to yourself it's like reaching into your own inner soul here Pisces saying there's no longer a need to deny yourself now there's no longer that 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 thought process of oh god no I'm, I'm gonna say no so that invitation I, I don't think I could you know it's self-denial okay self-denial there um but that's going to be going that is totally going to be leaving you as we go into the month of December. So then we've got the Four of Air coming out with the Queen of Water. And again, it's water is to do with emotions, okay? And this here, it's just reflecting on the, I mean, the calmness on her face here. It's just that sigh of, that you know, that outtake of breath where you can breathe a sigh of relief. And here, it's like, at last, I can sit down and I can literally rest and know that I'm going to be safe, know that I haven't got all this nervous um, fight and flight anxiety, I want to say, now with this barrier card. I feel like some of my Pisces have been in this fight and flight mode, you know, for the last couple of months. But guys, coming into December, it's... Let it all go. Let it all go, okay? Which is a lovely energy. And then we have a leg up and building blocks. And this here couldn't be any more uh, better cards for you to have come out here. It's like the universe as well here has stepped in a little bit. Uh, and there's issues being, I just feel, I feel like the fates have come into it a little bit here, coming towards the end of December. But you have literally raised yourself above what's been uh, holding you back, okay? And you've put yourself in a safe place, I want to say, Pisces. You've put yourself in a safe place. You know, when I came in at the start saying about uh, protecting property and, and things being damaged and things like that, you've put things in place, building blocks gone in place where, you know, you, you've, you've got yourself into a safer calmer more protective um state of affairs really and it's like saying to yourself you know you're looking back you're reflecting back on everything that's gone on in 2019 and you're in a safer more solid environment okay so that's that's a positive read there on the general collective there Pisces. I'm just going to scoop back, okay? I'm going to scoop back through these cards and we're going to look at it now on a romantic uh, side of things here, um, of what this can be um, brought out on the table through a romantic element. So then Pisces, going on the romantic side of things, I feel some of you have put your barriers up here on a relationship. Now, whether this is a relationship that you were already in and there's things gone on here uh, where you've had to literally, you know, um, said no more, enough, enough's enough here. And I feel on one side of the coin, um, some Pisces, okay, will be having an end to relationship in December. Um, and it's, you, you know, you, you have got the support. I feel that there's been support from family and support from friends to say you're doing the right thing here okay you're doing the right thing here on the relationship um saying you know it again it's fight and flight i feel that some of my pisces have been in a relationship where it's put them and they've been the vulnerable person okay in a quite a volatile relationship and it's saying no i'm not taking this i am not going into 2020 uh, with this person in my life anymore because um, and you've had this encouragement and support here because I feel some of you have been lost completely lost and going round in circles in in a relationship of what the hell do I do you know 
you've just for the last couple of months you felt that it's you know it's not been the right thing but no in december for some of you you're just completely going to fly you're just going to leave that knowing it's the right thing to do for some of you okay so on that side of the coin where you are splitting okay on the relationship side you are going to put you know uh, it is going to be denial for that partner where you're going to say no and they'll say you're in denial on this you don't know what you're talking about you know we're, we're meant to be together and then you're going to say no it's that you you're in denial you, you've got this false representation here that you think everything's okay when it really isn't okay and it's going to be uh it's going to be some old um i'm just going to say to you then it's gone out of my head i have one of those senior moments it's going to be that uh denial to them really that, 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 that they're going to say they're going to try and flip it on you that's what i'm going to say they're going to try and flip it on you saying you're in denial on this relationship of course you know what i mean and they're going to try and and then you're going to say no you've got to get it's ended i don't want you in my life anymore okay and it's just here i feel it's just the parting there um the meditation card there it's not so much of the wording even though you have the meditation is you've thought the process through before actually um, parting waves with this person, okay? Letting hands go, letting the relationship go. But it's, I feel it's the right thing to do because, again, we've got this um, sigh of relief. It's like this, I'm so glad. I'm so glad I've decided to let that relationship go, okay? And, again... On that side of the coin, you will be feeling on a more solid basis. The building blocks is like the tower moment then in the relationship side. You know, it, you've had to allow that relationship to go to put you on a firmer platform. For you then to look back and, and think, I've got no regrets on what I've done. I've got no regrets as I've closed this year off because, you know, I feel like the universe has, has, has opened it all up to me to give me a leg up, to give me a more firmer foundation where I can now breathe knowing I'm going into 2020 without that baggage, without that relationship that dragged me down because I do feel that I'm picking up with somebody now in, in, a, in a relationship that did bring them rock bottom, okay? But on the nice side of the relationship, guys, okay? Because <laughs> I, I can't let December go out on the relationship side without some positive on a, on a romance. So on the positive romantic side, I have got a Pisces who, yeah, has been out the romantic um, side of things for a while, okay? But I feel that there's a relationship starting, okay? It's been slow going, okay? Uh, I feel it's a friendship, it was a friendship basis, right? It's been a friendship basis and it's a case of, uh, with a denial card, it's like you were tempted. You've been, both of you have been tempted and it's like, do, I, do we cross this line? Okay, so I'm picking up with some Pisces now who have had a strong, uh, or strong, I have to say, it's where I come from. <laughs> Obviously we've all got different accents, but yeah, I'll say it's a strong Try and say it right instead of strong, strong relationship bond, guys. There's a, a strong relationship bond here in a friendship where, okay, it's whether it's going to, you're going to take it to the next level, right? Going into December, and especially at December because it's a really nice season, isn't it? Where, you know, everybody feels happy and they get drawn in the nice, nice atmosphere and, and everything else. But, I do feel on both sides here, it's it's going to be the um, connection. The friends is going to be taken to the next level, okay? Because you you can't you can't deny. I'm going back to this denial card again. You can't deny the passion that you feel between the two of you, okay? And you've been feeling this for a while. You know, oh, this is this is this is the relationship as I see it this friendship that you've been so close and it's like this, you know, you've both felt it, okay, you've both felt it and it's saying, 
do we cross the line? And I do feel Pisces, whether I'm relating to here, it is going to go to the next level. With the building blocks and the leg up card here, okay, it's going to be, it's just going to be one of those heated um, scenarios where it's just going to go, you're just going to roll with the tide, okay, it's just going to be, you know, it's just going to, it's going to happen, guys. It really is going to happen because it's meant to happen. And with the building blocks card there, there's no looking back either. Once you've crossed that line, because you just know there's so much passion and love between the two of you, okay, here, you're so close, guys. And you just, you've been putting these barriers up, denying it, denying this, oh, we shouldn't be doing this in your own heads. But to, to be honest, you should be doing it, okay, because this is what's meant to be. And this is what I'm feeling with some of you. It's not going to resonate with everybody, but I'm just picking up with some key elements here. So what I'm going to do now is read the affirmation card, okay? And the affirmation card we've got is listen. And it says you have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be a compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention, not just to what's being said, but to what lies beneath the words. So here really, it's... Um, I feel it's on the collective, it's about listening to your own inner self here. Because um, it's, as I said, I just felt there was a lot going on about protection, okay? Um, and it's about listening really to your own inner self. Because as I said, some of the Pisces out there were putting barriers up at... Um, and just cutting themselves away really. And it's just saying here, listen to your gut feeling now. Start listening to your gut feeling. You're in a better place come December, okay? Um, and it's time to start listening because I just feel it's about, you've got to listen to the message, to your own inner gut feeling, Pisces, okay? Um, it's about, and sometimes, um, and with the listening on the romantic side here, not just to what's being said, but to what lies beneath the words. Now that's interesting, guys, especially on that romantic connection where I said we've got these friends who are going to take it to the next level. Because words that are said to one another there, they are dropping out the hints that they want to take it further or you want to take it further. So you could be either saying words to them, like to say, I hope they can read between the lines that I want this to go a bit further now than what it has been, okay? So that's where the listening comes in in this reading. So my lovelies, now I'm going to move on to the encaustic art that I did. And this is a bit like tea leaf reading. This is the first time I've looked at this since it's been dried. So you'll have to bear with me while I just have a look around the card because it's a bit like the tea leaves that I did on my channel. Um, just to see what elements uh, we can pick up here from this reading of what other little messages we've got for you, Pisces. So let's have a look then what we can see here. Okay. Right. Okay, first thing first for the month of December, as I picked up at the start about the house being in this picture, okay, this, just before the Christmas period, okay, I can see some uh, issues around the property, to be honest, where there's going to be I just feel that something's broken down, but it's not like, uh, it's actually to do with the building construction itself. I feel there's been something that will need to be repaired and you'll desperately try to, try to get the work done before the Christmas holidays are here. I just see something, um, I just feel a problem with a chimney. And I don't know why I'm saying chimney, but I just feel there's, there's an issue and it, obviously, it, it could just be for one of you out there. It's to say, I'm, I'm just getting a message. It's an it's a important message to say. For somebody who lives in an area where strong winds in the winter months are prominent, they always get them, okay? And it's just saying, please protect, please check 
your chimney because I, I just feel there's going to be somebody a Pisces or somebody connected around a Pisces where they're going to have an issue with damage. I just see like tiles or bricks or just something damage to a chimney okay so it's just a, a forewarning there guys that's just a forewarning a prediction there saying somebody's gonna have some damage done um okay so that's the first thing i pick up with okay let's just have a look else we've got here right let's have a look so okay well, it's amazing what you get out on these cards, and, and some of them are just, you think, so silly and, and irrelevant, but I am going to uh, mention it here. I feel that there could be somebody in the month of December who have to go in and have wisdom teeth taken out, and I'm going to say wisdom teeth, okay, where you have to stop in overnight or two days. There's issues here around teeth going into the start of December where I feel it's to do with wisdom teeth that are going to cause some issues and it could be as I said it may even be it's already in the pipeline and somebody will be going through having these teeth out just before the Christmas period so I've got that there okay let's have a look what else we've got um, okay right down here uh, for some of my Pisces here I've got somebody coming in from your from the past you are going to hear either a communication letter email a text out the blue and it's going to be on somebody who you shut the door on Pisces around March this year where there was a bit of a um, whether it's to do with the relationship side again where you actually going out with somebody for a short period of time and uh, I feel like they had to go away for some reason for, for, for a while and your communication sort of dropped off. But I do feel there's some message here for a Pisces where somebody is going to be coming back. Okay, you're going to be hearing from somebody from your recent past. I'm going to say somebody who you sort of connected with around March time. Okay, so I've got that there. Let's have a look at what we've got here. Right, okay, uh, this is interesting. Um, I'm not saying it's directly to you, Pisces, but it's, it's somebody close around you that is gonna be involved in a, uh, an accident. Um, and I feel it's a car accident. And it, it, don't get me wrong, it's not gonna be like life-threatening or anything like that, but I do feel they are injured there's a slight injury here to somebody who's a, a, a associated um, with a Pisces. I just see uh, an accident here, and it's on slippy roads, guys. It's I've got here. It's just like a an, this is just like a road shown where there's snow being piled either side um, of the road, and somebody's just going to lose control and hit another car, and then it just causes slight damage, but. You know, I just see a, a slight injury there um, from this. I just, it's just to be aware here. It could even be a message to say, guys, for God's sake, get your tyres checked uh, for the winter because I just, I've just got this image of a road where there's snow being built up, uh, like pushed away. You know, when the, the snow players come down and I clear it up and it banks either side. But it's just saying here, I just feel loss of a, loss of a control of a car here, okay, where a slight injury is going to be caused. So I've got that in there. Right, what have we got here? Okay. We've got somebody climbing a career ladder here as well, Pisces. This is good news for somebody uh, stepping out here, um, going knowing that they've bagged a job, a new career, going into January 20, and it is a significant jump in pay. So I've got a platform here, literally, and they're coming out up here. So there's good news there, right, for some of my Pisces, okay, for new job opportunities, which is good. And what else have I got here? Right. Okay, I've also got here, this is a really weird image. It's like a bird with a great big long, like one of the sandpipers. It's just a picture of us. A sandpiper here. Um, 
So I do feel that there's going to be some issues around some of my Pisces where they've really got to dig back on old information to prove something, okay? Because having this, it's like a big sandpiper beak. It's like literally somebody digging deep, going back into the past. I've got, got to find an important document to prove something, okay? Again, that's not going to resonate with everybody, but I'm just having to read what I see. And it's literally, you've got to have to turn over every bit of paper in your house. I can just see a Pisces thinking, I've got that proof, I've got it. And it's like you're literally digging deep, turning everything over to find this piece of evidence that you need, okay, guys? So, yeah, I hope you can take something from that um, then. It's not going to resonate with everybody, obviously, but hopefully you can take some elements away from that reading. I'm now going to read you my little bit of poetry, guys. And we have... As the year draws to an end, see the barriers fall away that you put up in 2019, so 2020 dawns a new day. A new year for you to step into with more confidence at hand. Time to build an empire, not castles in the sand. No more self-doubt in your potential. You have the encouragement to fly out of the maze of 2019. Time to grace the sky. Because yeah, on the collective and the romantic there, it is time to escape. As I said, if you've been in that relationship, you know, that's made you feel tied down, vulnerable, etc. You are going to be high flying on your own um, for a good reason as well, guys. And those of you who have had to, you know, had the issues of protecting your property and everything else, just know that, you know, you're going to be, be able to go into 2020 with that, <sighs> thank God, you know what I mean? That Thank God that is all over. So what I'm going to do to finish this off for December is pull out one of my uh, little charms. And if you're new to my channel, just got some little charms in here that I like to give a little shake to. So yeah, let's have a little shake, shake, shake. So yeah, let's have a look what we've got for my lovely Pisces to finish this up today. I'll finish the year up really, I can't believe it. But I am positive that 2020 is going to be a good year most of the star signs so we have oh i just do i just do a reading for taurus and they had this as well see i said didn't i i think it's going to be a good year for 2020 for most star signs and here again we've got the um the sunflower and there is only one of these sunflowers guys in that in that bag there um and i also look at the sunflower as actually the sun itself sunnier uh, times ahead coming uh, to you and also it's about little seeds that we plant okay little seeds that are planted throughout the year um but i believe that the universe plants for us uh, that are going to be coming positive as we go into the the new year in 2020 so that my lovelies um is a lovely charm to pull out at the end of this reading for both the collective and the romantic side just know that sunnier times and that big sigh of relief you know you, that you know that you are going to be stepping into 2020 um, feeling a lot more at ease and a lot more sunnier brighter days to come ahead for you my lovelies so Pisces I want to say thank you all um, for supporting me since I've started in uh, June this year and I hope that we can grow together as we start the new year in 2020. I hope you have a fabulous Christmas with your family, your friends, whatever you, you're doing over the holiday season. And I say Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you. And I'll look forward to reading to you in 2020. Take care then, my lovelies. Bye. Mm -hmm.